right now. So welcome to those of you joining from that community. And um, we usually focus on something specific for athletes in general. You know, for a time it was yoga for runners, for those people that were training for that race. Um, but now it's kind of yoga for athletes because I'm an equal opportunity athlete. <laughs> and uh, today I thought what would be fun to do is a little bit of flow because it's holiday for some. I mean, you might be watching this at a different time, but um, a, uh, a little flow and then a little focus on core and hips. So that's kind of what comes. You know, I always think, hmm, what do I got to do? I don't know, maybe I'll do this. Haven't done that in a while. Maybe I'll do this. Hmm, no, I just did that last time. So there you have it. That's what we got going on. I hope you enjoy. Um, as usual, my announcement, uh, these classes are done on a donation basis. Yeah. Huh. So that's kind of what comes. You know, yeah. I think, hmm, what are do? There we go. I don't know, that's me. I <laughs> need to check to make sure the sound is coming through for you. <clears throat> so that's good. These classes are done on a donation basis, uh, which means if you can, it would be great if you paid for your class. If not, it's totally okay. Um, there's a couple ways to do that. You could Venmo me directly. You could go to fivepointyoga.com and you can pay for your class through our mind-body system there. And you can um, do it that way or you can uh, send a little donation that way. Right, so you can also become a monthly member. We have a whole new monthly member thing since this whole quarantine. We've basically created a little virtual studio. And uh, there's a way to do that through ConsciousEndurance.com. With all that said, let's do it. <laughs> Start with your feet about shoulder distance. Bring your palms together. Close your eyes. Relax the shoulders. Start breathing in and out of your nose. <clears throat> For me right now, it's about 9.07. So probably go to about 10.05, so about an hour, just under an hour. So ah, let the shoulders drop down, let the top of the head float up, breath smooth. Ah, just stretching my neck, so kind of drop your head down a little bit, drop your head on down to the left a little bit. Ah, and then back up, and then down to the right a little bit. Set your intention while you're here. Back up, now over to the side. Intention to release some stress, to heal, to strengthen, whatever that means for you. Switch sides in your stretch. It's a beautiful morning here. It was a little chilly this morning. I went for a bike ride. First time back to the center. Go ahead and take the arms up. Interlace the fingertips, turn the palms up to the ceiling. Um, first time that I got up at 5.30 to go for a little sunrise bike ride, it was dark. And by the time I left, it was about 6, so 5, 6, 10 or something like that. And uh, it was pretty dark still, but you can see lights coming up. That sun, you know, it's amazing. That sun thing comes up every day. It's unreal. <laughs> Full to one side stretch. But it was really beautiful to get out there. No animals. Typically, I'll see some coyotes but if I go that early, but none of that, so that was fun. I had three nights of full night's sleep, so our little guy sleeping, at least for the past three nights, which is nice. I hope everyone had a nice Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, when you're young and loud, lean back, take a big inhale. It's all about the Hallmark holiday, but then eventually it becomes a little bit more about, at least for me, you know, it's become not only the love I have for my, the love of my life and my wife, um, but the bigger, the bigger love, you know, the bigger love of loving each other and, you know, because you got kids and love is like snow, right, for the Inuit Eskimos, if there's like, you know, I don't know, 27 different words for snow, 
There should be 27 different words for love. And uh, so I hope everybody had some love in their life now and yesterday and every other day of the year. And I hope everybody gives love. Go ahead and clasp the hands back behind you. It's my two main words for the year of 2021. Love and gratitude because I think the world needs more of those things. Clasp the hands back, stretch the shoulders and breathe. Good, one more breath. Give it a nice big stretch. Release it. We are going to do some hips. I'm going to turn to the side quick. You can straddle the mat or turn to the side. And I'm going to bend over toward my right. I sink over toward my right. I'm stretching the inner thigh on the left. Sinking down, get a little inner thigh stretch. Breathe. Spread the toes. Feel the feet flat. Don't, don't collapse the inner arch. Switch it back, other side, same thing. Lengthen the upper body up. Da, 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 da. Sink in and breathe. Good, same thing. Back again, this time we're gonna add a little bit of a twist. So sink over, lengthen the upper body up. Turn and twist. And then to turn that arm back. Lengthen the upper body, twist and turn. One more breath. Good. Release it. Same thing, other side. Sinking down. First you get the hip stretch, then you lengthen the upper body as you twist and turn. Good, and then you turn the arm back, drop it behind you, lengthen the torso, twist up and breathe. One more breath. Good, back to the center. Walk the feet in just a little bit. Heels in, toes out, forearms to the thighs, push the knees wide. A little bit of side to side action. Those of you that are athletes, you know, you want to think about, I mean, we're all athletes to some degree, but if you're a regular athlete who's training for, on a bike or running or swimming for that matter, push the knees wide. Straighten the legs back to the center. You know, you always want to think about your recovery, how that's going. Slowly roll up, abdomen really strong. Take a nice big inhale, lift the arms up. Fold all the way down, forward as you exhale. Extend the spine as you inhale. Step back to plank as you exhale. Top of a push up. Hold it here, breathe. A few breaths, abdomen strong. Thinking about your recovery, depending on where you are in your training, what you're training for, um, you know, you could want just super chill, kind of a yin style, deep stretch class, which I love, or you could want something like this, which is kind of a little bit of a more, more active recovery, lower halfway chaturanga, press back up and plank, do five of those, halfway, back up. Halfway, it's the core and arms, obviously. Two more, one more. Good, all the way to the mat. Gentle back bend, lift up, shoulders draw down, drop the chin, extend the spine forward, breathe. Turn the head to the left side, easy neck stretch. Flip it, other side, breathe. Good. 
back to the center lift up nice big inhale and then child's pose on the exhale child's pose just for a moment and then downward facing dog when you're ready take a moment bend the left leg push the right heel down give it a big stretch Breathing into the back of that leg. And then switch sides, same thing, stretch. Breathe into the back of that leg. Good. Straighten both legs from there. Up on the toes, walk softly to the hands. Extend the spine as you inhale, look forward fold as you exhale stretch all the way up nice big inhale hands to the heart exhale arms up inhale fold down exhale extend the spine inhale step back exhale vinyasa easy to the knees to the mat Chata, uh, no, this is um, Cobra. <laughs> and then reverse it, downward facing dog. Hold and breathe. So that's the easy way to take that stretch. I mean, that vinyasa there. Up on the toes again, walk softly to the hands. Lengthen that spine as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. All the way up as you inhale. Hands to the heart, exhale, arms up again, inhale, fold down as you exhale, extend the spine as you inhale, step back as you exhale, or you could jump vinyasa, lower down, halfway or all the way, upward facing dog, pull those shoulders back, and then downward facing dog, breathe, fingers spread, palms flat, breath smooth, One more breath. And up on the toes again. Walk or hop. Lengthen the spine as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. All the way up, nice big inhale. Hands to the heart. Exhale, arms up. <clears throat> inhale, fold down, exhale. Extend the spine, inhale. Step back, exhale, vinyasa, lower down. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. <clears throat> Take the right leg up behind you, hold it, breathe. Good, then shoulders over the wrists, knee to the nose, abdomen strong. Good, lift it back and up. Forward knee to your left side. I'll twist and squeeze. Abdomen strong. Back and up. Forward to the right side. Good, lift it. Back and up. And then all the way forward. Stay there. Straighten the front leg, flex the foot. Bend the knee. Drop the hips. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, a few more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale. Good, turn the back foot, warrior one, let's just come up, one big inhale, reach up. And then hands to the floor, take the leg back. Vinyasa, any variation that you want. Still letting my shoulder heal a bit, though it definitely feels much better. Left leg up behind you, so I'm not gonna be doing too many stronger vinyasas. I'll throw one in here and there, but you know, I just had a little, it's kind of a weird little shoulder thing, so 
figure, let it rest. Let it rest, put some arnica on it, do some self-massage. So far, so good. Shoulders over the wrists, knee to the nose, abdomen strong. Lift it, and then knee to your right. Backing up, knee to the left. Backing up, all the way forward. Straighten the front leg, flex the foot, bend the knee, drop the hips. Oh, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, keep it going, a few more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale, good, turn the back foot, warrior one, reach up. One big inhale, and then hands down, take the leg back. Vinyasa, again, your choice and how deep you want to go. Down your facing dog. Pause and breathe. Good. A few breaths. I'm going to link all that together. Up on the toes when you're ready. Walk or lightly hop forward. Extend the spine as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. Chair pose. Bend the knees, reach the arms, inhale. Exhale. Breathe. Keep breathing. Keep breathing, sit in your chair pose. Let's do a little twist. A little warm in that sun, which is nice. Palms together. Left elbow outside the right knee. Lengthen the upper body. Twist and turn and breathe. Good. Back to chair. Inhale. Palms together. Switch it. Lengthen the upper body up. Turn and twist. Oh, I got some... People knocking out the door. Chair pose. Inhale. <laughs> hey, buddy. And then stand up, hands together at the heart. Little kids knocking out the door. <laughs> All right, sun salutation B. Let's do a single round and then a double round and a triple round through. So that's a lot of vinyasas. So make sure you modify if you need to modify. But it's a nice little flow that kind of gets us started. We'll focus a bit on the core too. Chair pose. Inhale. Fold as you exhale. Mm. Extend the spine. Inhale. Step back or jump back. Vinyasa. Lower down. Upward facing dog. Easy. Shoulders back. Heart opens. Down dog. Right side. Take the leg up. Bring it forward. Warrior one. Reach up. Inhale. Hands down. Leg back. Vinyasa. Lower. Facing down, down dog, left side, take it up, bring it forward, warrior one, reach, hands down, leg back, abdomen strong, lower, inhale, and exhale, down dog and hold, down dog and breathe. Good. Up on the toes again. Walk or hop forward. Extend the spine as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. Chair pose. Bend the knees. Reach the arms. Inhale. Real chair. Stand. Hands together at the heart. The joke is, it's chair pose, not bar stool pose. <laughs> Ready? Two rounds through each leg. Back to chair. Inhale. Fold. Exhale. Halfway up, inhale, stepper, hop back, exhale. I'm here all night, people. I got plenty of jokes. <laughs> Down dog, just kidding, not that many. Right leg up behind you, bring it forward. Warrior one, reach up, deep bend, stretch, hands down, leg back, vinyasa, lower. 
up, good, back, abdomen strong, leg up, left side, bring it forward, warrior one, reach up, inhale, hands down, leg back, lower, up, back, right side, take it up, bring it forward, warrior one, reach up, hands down, Leg back, vinyasa, lower, up, back, left side, take it up, bring it forward, warrior one, reach up, hands down, abdomen strong, leg back, vinyasa, back, downward facing dog, hold it and breathe, lift the tailbone, breath smooth. Very good. Up on the toes again. Walk or hop forward. Extend that spine as you inhale. Fold as you exhale. Chair pose from there. Inhale. Chair and then stand. Hands together at the heart. Exhale. Big full breath. Very good. Back to chair pose. Inhale. Fold. Exhale. Halfway up, inhale, step back or jump back as you exhale. Vinyasa, lower down. Good. Three times through each leg this round. Right side first, take it up, bring it forward. Abdomen strong. Warrior one, reach up. Hands down, leg back. Abdomen strong. So, yes, you're lowering with your arms. But I also want your abs to be involved. And on the way back, abdomen has to be involved. Left side, take it up, bring it forward. So not only is it legs here, but a big stretch, arms as you go down, but it's core all the way through. And I really want you to pay attention to that because it changes the practice, it changes the game. Right side, second time through, take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one, inhale, hands down, leg back, vinyasa, lower, upward facing dog, gently, downward facing dog, left side, take it up, bring it forward, warrior one, and then one more round on each side, hands down, leg back, vinyasa, inhale, Exhale, right leg, take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one, reach. Hands down, leg back, lower. And then last time, through it. Left side, take it up, bring it forward. Warrior one, reach. Hands down, leg. Breathe, stand, breath, move. Good, now drop to the knees. Keep the toes tucked here if you can. Toes tucked, sit back onto the heel. So this is just a little bit of a breather for your arms and your lungs a little bit. That's a hard warm up. So if you're not used to that kind of warm up, it's challenging. Even if you are used to it, it's challenging. It definitely warms you up why we do it, right? <laughs> so just take a little break, stretch the feet here, breathe. Interlace the fingertips, turn the palms forward, reach the arms up. If it's too much to sit on your heels like this, you can just come up onto the knees. That would be fine too. But if possible, you're sitting down here. Excuse me, lifting up, leaning back. That's a deep foot stretch. That's what we want. And one more breath. And then forward. Good.
Eight point the toes back. Sit down. Good. Pause here for a moment. If you feel like this is a big stretch, then you stay here. Uh, quads, knees, tops of the feet, shins, the big stretch, stay there. If you can handle a little bit more, lean back. Oh, lift those knees up and stretch the tops of the feet and the shins. Breathe. Whatever you decide. Oh. Good. Pushing the heart up, dropping the head back and breathe. And then forward, interlace the fingers back behind you, lift the upper body up, draw the shoulders back and down, drop the head back, take a big inhale, and then come on down, forward, fold, top of the head, stretch. Good. And then release that. Pause for a couple breaths. Good. And then uh, downward facing dog from there. So down dog. I'm going to a little bit of a, a core flow. So right leg up behind you. Like before, we did this earlier. Shoulders over the wrists, knee to the nose. Abdomen really strong. Hold it right here. Two, three, four, and five. Lift it back and up. Now we're going to take that leg over to the left. So hold it. If you feel like it, you can straighten the leg out. Two, three, four, and five. Lift it. And then to your right. Hold it. Maybe straighten the leg. Two, three, four and five good back and up all the way forward turn the back foot warrior one and warrior two shoulders relaxed breath smooth gazing forward back arm right away let's do it take that left arm back around forearm to the thigh Engage the abdomen slightly, tuck the tailbone, lean back and twist. Good, right hand goes down, lean back and breathe. Good. And then left arm over the ear so you can release it. I always switch my hand to the outside. Not always, but most of the time. Lengthen and turn and breathe. One more inhale. Back up. Warrior two. Reverse it. Back arm down. Right arm up and back. Stretch. One more inhale, and then come forward, wrap the arms. <laughs> Hi, bud. Hi, buddy. So right arm underneath the leg, left arm behind the back, clasp and hold. So you can grab the fingertips like I am here. You can, if your arms are longer, your shoulders are more flexible, you'll grab the wrist. Breathe deep. Not a, lot, a ton of time here, but just... Lengthen and twist and breathe. Sit into that stretch. Good. One more breath. And then let it go. So you're going to bring the hands down, come up on the back toes, walk the, outs the foot to the outside of the mat, outside elbow down, 
inside elbow down and you may need a couple blocks here right now my right elbow does not go down if i force it down it does but i usually like to just kind of let it let it stretch and then slowly and it gets down usually but breathe here abdomen really strong so with the back knee up it's a little bit of core we're going to take the right leg back momentarily first we're just going to go into a little deep stretch here one more breath good dropping the back knee come on up straighten that front leg breathe lengthen Good. Stretch. It's weird. I get this little sensitivity thing on my skin, like right around here. I don't know what it is. It's weird. <laughs> I have no idea. Go ahead now. You're going to come back down. This time we're going to go right into low plank. So go ahead and tuck the back toes. Step that right leg back. Come down on your forearms. One minute. Abdomen strong get to my timer there we go one minute from there hold just want you to hold this first minute and breathe extend the shoulders up engage those abs keep the breath smooth If you find your lower back starting to hurt, that's when you know that you have uh, just a little bit too much sink in the hips. You gotta engage and lift the hips a little higher. That's fine. Ten more seconds. Good, now palms, now lift the hips up, push back, breathe. And one more breath. Good, then look at the hands, downward facing dog. Good, right away, just take a moment and stretch, bend the left leg, push the right heel down, stretch it out. and then take the left leg up right away. Bring it all the way forward, turn the back foot. Warrior one and warrior two. Open up to the side. Warrior two, hold and breathe. The shoulders relaxed, gazing forward, breathing deep. And then right away, take the back arm Wrap it around, oh, forearm to the thigh, lean back a little bit, twist up a little bit and breathe. Good. Now look down. Lean back some. Twist up. A few breaths. You know, sometimes just sitting in the pose and breathing is enough to just change it a little bit maybe go deeper wiggle your hands in open up the shoulders a bit more now we're going to switch it so right hand over the ear and breathe one more inhale and then come on back up warrior two Push the leg straight, back arm down, left arm up and back, stretch.
Good, one more nice big, big inhale. And then forward, left hand under, right arm behind, clasp and hold like before, lengthen up, turn and twist up and breathe. Good, one more breath. Let it go, hands down, come up on the back toes, walk that left foot over, outside elbow down, and inside elbow. If it goes down, you don't have to, but right away I want you to come to the core. This is kind of the core session section, so I want you to think about that and kind of make sure you're engaged there as you breathe. And a little stretch, but mostly a breathing. Mostly a breathing. <laughs> <laughs> driving that back leg up sinking down into the hips a little bit a few more breaths good then drop the back knee come up straighten that front leg lengthen the upper body up as you breathe And then from here, you're gonna come back down. We're gonna go back down here onto the forearms and then you're gonna step that leg back. We're gonna go low plank again. Stand by, ready, set, and go. This time, we're gonna hold for 90 seconds and we're gonna throw in a couple of little variations. So stay strong if you can. If you start to feel that hit the hips drop and your lower back sink in, then you definitely have to be aware lift the hips a little higher feel okay take the right leg off the floor hold 10 seconds and breathe you did that switch legs breathe switch and breathe Switch and breathe. I'll just do two on each, and then 30 seconds of mountain climbers if you want them. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, six, eight, nine, ten, uh, 13, 15, 16, 18. 20, about one per second. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 29, and 30. Good. Down, uh, dolphin. Palms flat, lift the hips, push those shoulders back. Look at the hands, push the arm straight, very nice. Take a moment, bend the right leg, push that left heel down, breathe. Alrighty, that's it for our standing. Come down onto the forearms there, I mean, I'm sorry, to the knees. Do just a gentle back bend. We're gonna do a little bit more core, but one, one um, back bend here. So lift the upper body up. Uh, come on back. If your back is too tender to go all the way back to the heels, then just stay right here. Normally we do half side to side, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go do the full Ustrasana camel. 
Drive the hips forward, lift the heart up, and drop the head back and breathe. One more breath. Good, abdomen strong. Slowly come out, cross the legs, lie on the back. So last week we did a bunch of heart openers in honor of Valentine's Day. So we did a few of these big back bends, but what I realized is that that particular pose wheel is just one that I just want to do on a more regular basis. But let's go back to the, so we're going to do it, <laughs> but let's go back to the core a bit. So 50 times here, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got to get the upper body up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. And 50, that's it. Good. Drop the feet. Lift the hips. Clasp the hands underneath you. Wiggle the shoulders. At this point, if you had a block nearby and you wanted to just do a restorative one, you absolutely could. Lift the hips up and breathe. Good. One more. Lift up. And slowly come on down. Pause. We're going to do two more. You could do the same exact thing, or you could go up to your full back bend. Right, so I'm going to bring the arms back. Come up onto the very top of the head here. Push the arms straight. Good. And then slowly come on down. Pause for a moment. I think I got a haircut coming this week. I hope. I got to find out. <laughs> and then uh, again, same thing, backing up. One more time. Breathe. Slowly come on down. Very nice. Pull the knees in. Give them a good squeeze. Circles in the lower back there. Just kind of massage that lower back and sacrum. Good. And then happy baby pose. Grab the outsides of the feet, tailbone down, stretch. Good, now hold the right foot, release the left, pull down and breathe. Switch sides, same thing. <laughs> hey, Madison. <laughs> Good. Back up from there. And then I'm going to give a gentle tug. And then we're going to rock up to a seat, forward and back. A few times, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Very good. Soles of the feet together. Knees wide. Baddha Konasana. I can turn to face you guys. Breathe deep. Uh-oh. What's going on? 
<laughs> Sorry, you can't see, but they're right on the other side and uh, in the little kind of dining playroom situation there. In their little play area. And uh, there's a like a wooden dowel <laughs> for the window, like as a lock for the window. And uh, he takes it off and <laughs> hopefully he doesn't hurt Madison. <clears throat> he's a little bit of a uh, clubber. He's a little bit of a, he's, he's a little dog who thinks he's a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> Gently pushing down, breathe deep, stretch. So I'm just doing a little bit more of an active stretch where I'm pressing down. Right, and I'm sort of releasing at the same time, trying to release at the same time. <sighs> Come back up from there. What we're going to do turn uh, I want you to take the feet up right so like this here and then oh hey how's it going I know yeah that's my how you guys how's it going I know yeah, that's the technology yeah you guys want to say hi look, look into the camera and say hi it's Madison and Liam everyone Liam do you want to wave no it's like no not waving I'm going to go so here's yeah. All right. So here, what, I, what I want you to do is go side to side like this. So this is kind of a good stretch for the hips. Oh no, you can't. No, you can't. You can't play with that. You can't play with that. I know. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Oh, careful, careful, careful. <laughs> so the idea is to get internal hip stretch. Yes, I know. That's right. That's technology. You love it, don't you? side to side like this you guys see this is what I'm doing you think you could do this can you do this with your knees <laughs> yeah Ugh. no can you leave that there for me you just leave it there it's perfect right where it is it's just perfect right where it is thank you I know yeah no look no 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 we're just gonna leave it right there we leave it right there <laughs> okay. I know I know. Yeah, you want to go down the slide? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> side to side. Oh, so this here stretch kills me, by the way. So, and then what I want you to do, you've been doing that for a little while because we had the little kid interruption. So, uh, now what I want you to do is go to one side, take the bottom leg and put it on top. And now I want you to kind of let the weight of and the pressure of this top leg push this down lower right feel that and breathe good and then you're going to release it and go to the other side right. careful in the knee for my knee is a bit messy there breathe Good. All right. Now back to the center. And then we're going to go to pigeon pose. So then one leg back, forward there. Pigeon. <laughs> so we'll spend about a minute and a half here and breathe. Nice pigeon pose. <laughs> oh. Good smooth, even breaths in and out of the nose. Hmm, just relaxing and breathing. Oh, check on my 
shoulder. February, you guys, I cannot believe it is middle of February. It's quite unbelievable. Few more breaths here. Daddy, yeah. I went over the climbing gym. You did? You you went you mean you climbed up and over? No kidding. Nice. Nice. Hi. Yeah. It's a microphone pack. I know, yeah, it's my phone and the microphone pack. Switch sides, you guys. Switch sides. Yeah, no, we're gonna leave it there, okay? Can I have it? No, thank you. Thanks, buddy. No, 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 no. It has to stay here. Yeah, has let's to go stay find here. something different. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put this. I'm gonna put this on the table. Other side pigeon pose. Other side pigeon pose. <laughs> I put it on the table now, Lauren. <laughs> so just breathe and soften, stretch. The reason I bring up the fact that it's February is just because I think, you know, everybody set a bunch of goals for the year and you know, it's time to check in and see how that's going, see if you need to reassess how you're feeling. And I'll be doing the same, do it on a weekly basis. Um, are you headed in the right direction? How's that all going? I uh, know many of you have joined my either my five-day challenge or my 15-day challenge, which is coming up. I set some dates for the new year, um, April 22nd to the 25th, and then July for the 15-day challenge, and then November again. So that's, that's my plan. I like it. I like it. And I'll uh, stick to that. Oh. Until we're back traveling and see if we can get some some real humans together <laughs> to do a retreat, to do a five-day challenge somewhere in a, an exotic location. Uh, last few breaths on this side. I have some goals that I've been keeping up with and I have some goals that I have not been. So, uh, just good to reassess. Come on up from there, and then bring the legs forward, shake them out for a moment. Butt out to the side a little bit, flex the feet back, reach the arms up, fold down, stretch. So you can stay there, or you can roll up and roll back and take the legs up and over the head for plow. If you did that, take the legs up. Hi, I don't want that. Not for me, thank you. That's for you. Is that a pancake? Yeah? Is it good? Yeah? Take the legs wide from there, flex the feet. <laughs> oh. Hi. Bend the knees, soles of the feet together. Oh, is it good? 
Well, you dropped some, huh? <laughs> well, I'm going to give it to the birds. Whoa, careful. Good. <laughs> legs up and then legs down. And then we'll come on out. Take the final twist. As I don't knock over my kid, where is he? Hi. <laughs> Excuse me. Pull the right knee and give it a squeeze. Oh, and twist to one side, a couple breaths, and then twist. Oh. Mm, good. And then other side, twist. Pull that left knee in, other side. <laughs> and they know I'm going to put this in my pocket. It's, it's for the microphone so people can hear me. It's not for messing around. And I put the other ones up on the table. You can't go get them. We got them out of your way. Shavasana, everyone. Yes. <laughs> Shavasana. Take a nice big breath. Just a couple minutes. Totally, totally relax. Good. Go ahead and take a nice deep breath. Bring the left hand to the heart center, right hand to the belly. Bend the knees from there, roll to your right side. Take your time. And then up to a seat, uncomfortable seated position, sitting up tall, palms up, eyes closed, a couple breaths, connect, you know, connect with your innermost self. Find that sense of peace and contentment, regardless of what's happening around you. Sometimes great, sometimes not so great, sometimes horrible. And if we have that and <laughs> develop that relationship with our innermost self, it doesn't really matter what happens on the outside. I mean, it matters. And we understand that it's fleeting, temporary, even though it might be painful. It's temporary. And we get through it. Come back to that place of groundedness. Palms together from there and take a moment of gratitude. Mm. 
namaste to this podcast and it's so funny at the end the guy's like peace out you guys take care of each other and I thought that's a cool thing to say I like that I think we should all take care of each other so stay safe stay healthy and take care of each other I'll see you guys tomorrow if you're on zoom if you're a member you can be on the zoom session tomorrow otherwise we'll be back live here on uh, Wednesday and Friday thank you so much and uh, I'll see you soon